Hello, so today we are going to be painting curly or coily hair with watercolors, so if you want to learn how to do that, uh, keep watching. So we are going to start off the painting by doing the basic shape that you want the hair to be and in whatever color you want the hair to be. So I'm doing brown and you can do red, you can do blue, you can do whatever color. Just make sure that the first layer is pretty light and transparent and yeah. So now we are just darkening up the areas around the neck and the roots. Uh, those areas will usually be a little bit darker. So also just a little bit at the bottom. Um, So I'm just darkening up those areas and avoiding any area that's a little bit lighter so that that can be the area where the curls will be a little bit more defined. Um, you don't want anything to be too flat, so I'm just making sure I'm keeping some areas lighter than others. So I'm just building up the, the color and darkening everything up with um, like black or brown whatever color you want to do, just make sure that you keep building that color up. Um, I'm not doing any curls just yet, but yeah, we're just darkening those areas up so that there's depth and it looks like a, a full head of hair. Okay, so this is what the curls are going to look like once you start adding them. Um, and now it really just depends on what hair type you're going for but for this hair type I'm doing this type of curl and yeah okay so now I'm just adding in those curls and I'm doing this on dry paper you want the paper to be as dry as possible so that your curls look as defined as possible So don't be afraid to add random curls here and there, um, like all over the hair. It's okay if it doesn't look super neat. Um, I mean, of course, it depends on the style that you're going for. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing random curls with some with less paint, some with more. So for the areas that we kept light, um, I'm doing lighter paint because I don't want them to be too dark. I still want to make sure that they look light. Um, so yeah, just make sure that the paint there is not too dark. You want those areas to look like they're the curls that are on top and that they're popping out. So if you wanted to, you could use gouache or colored pencils to make the curls pop a little bit more. I'm doing just watercolor, but I think gouache or colored pencils or whatever would definitely make the curls look a lot better and a lot more defined. I found it really difficult to make the curls look extremely defined with watercolor. So yeah, go ahead and do it if you want to.
So I'm just finishing up the curls, um, defining more areas where it needs to be more defined. And yeah, I hope this video was really helpful. I tried finding other videos and there really aren't a lot on how to do curly or uh, coily hair with watercolor. So I truly hope this video was helpful. And there you go, there's the curly hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Uh, I really appreciate you watching this video and I hope you have a good one.